You can run 5k or around that, which by the way is awesome, well done, genuinely happy for you. Life is better when you're running. But you're getting to that point now where you've done some park runs, maybe you go out and your weekly runs are around that distance and you're looking into the future and thinking, hmm, where do I go from here? Which happens to us all, eventually you'll get to an ultra marathon. Okay, maybe not. When we train, we naturally reach plateaus and then we start thinking about pushing on. So the natural progression from a 5K is a 10K. So what's the difference between getting yourself to 5K ready and 10K ready? Actually, not much. So what I've done in this vlog is I've put together a six week 10K training plan to get you ready for your first 10K. It's not bespoke. I will give you the tools that you need to tweak it, but consider it a framework rather than a hard and fast plan. The key for me is just creating consistency, making sure we build gradually week on week and keep it regular. There's no mind blowing sessions, but it will get you to where you need to get to in six weeks time. Okay, let's get cracking. This is arguably the least complicated of the six week programs because the 5K is an introduction to running and the half marathon plan introduces a bit of periodization. For a 10K plan, I simply want to give you consistency and introduce some simple training concepts so it will essentially be a gradual build of miles or kilometers each week. If you've followed any of my other six week plans, you'll know I'm a fan of a key or cornerstone session. In this case, a progressive long run each week. I pop a rest day before it and strength and conditioning after. There's a few suggested strength and conditioning workouts on the channel. Then it's just about sensibly building the mileage. My assumption is that you've got yourself to a place where you can run 5k relatively comfortably. With that in mind, the first two weeks are about creating consistency. Regular runs of a decent distance, 11 kilometers in the first week, and then two lots of four kilometer runs plus a five kilometer to make 13k in the second week. For the most part, we'll factor in rest days between run days, but when we move on to intervals, we'll just make sure that the interval session length isn't too long the day before a continuous run. Whilst we keep building the distance in week three, I want to introduce the concept of an interval session. High intensity, but less time, therefore less wear and tear on the body. I'll write three suggested easy interval sessions in the video description, but feel free to use your own if you have them. So week three is about 18 kilometers in total, whilst week four is a 30 minute interval session and two lots of six kilometers and a 7K to give about 21 kilometers. Week five takes it up to a total of about 25 kilometers and that's your biggest week. I want to introduce the idea of a taper in the last week. A taper is where you reduce the training volume but keep some intensity before your big run. It sharpens you up whilst simultaneously freshening you up as you're not doing as much. So on race day you should feel like you're flying. As with all of the plans, six weeks is the minimum. If you have 12 weeks, then do each week twice before you move on to the next. Gradual's good and gives the body even more time to adapt. And there you have it, you are ready to run 10K. If you've watched my previous videos, the half marathon training plan or the 5K training plan, then you'll know what I'm about to say, but I will repeat it anyway. The key takeaways here are that you must stretch after every session because your body will be going through some big changes and you need to keep your muscles and joints flexible. Also, do not neglect the strength and conditioning. Simon Ward suggests that strength and conditioning should account for 25% of your total training per week and you will feel the benefit of that. So I'll link some sessions as I always do up here. Also, don't push it. Six weeks is an absolute minimum. Let's build gradually. If you want this to be a long-term relationship, then you need to think about it in gradual terms and keep it consistent. No big highs and low lows. The fact is there are a lot of amazing 10K races out there. Actually, it's my favorite distance because it's a good middle ground between the half marathon and 5K where you can still push hard, but it's a really decent distance to get stuck into. I hope you've enjoyed the training plan. If it adds value, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you on Sunday.